Golden morning, and welcome to Legends Rising. Wait, I'm sorry, start that over. Golden morning, and welcome to everyone's favorite fantastical morning show, Legends Rising. I'm Midas. I'm Mendez. And as always, we're here to help uh, our lovely initiated audience with uh, having legendary mornings. That's what we do, right? Yep. Great. And so today we have a letter from uh, November Rain. November Rain. November Rain writes, um, and I quote, hey, <laughs> hey, I'm a local, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm a local human. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm a local human. And I recently just got into yoga, kudalini, learning what karma is, and I even got a henna tattoo. Wow. I'm super spiritual, she says. <laughs> and I want to go even deeper into understanding my spiritual journey. So I'm wondering, can you guys teach me? How to find my spirit animal. Ooh. We sure can, November. Yeah, you've come to the right place. Enjoy this intro and stay tuned for more. Hey, huh. I was looking for the remix. Turn my life better than original. Spaceships pulling up on Venus. See the young god in the physical. Fuck what they say, really, I'm a beast in all formats. Way over there, blind for the sun when you stare rare. Cause I'm looking for the remix. Welcome back to Legends Rising. Um, today we're helping November Rain find her spirit animal. And as we were saying before, she's definitely come to the perfect place for that, right? Yes. Perfect place. Uh, why is that? Because we know shit. A lot of stuff. Defecation. <laughs> yeah, I, I was there. Uh, yeah, in fact, I personally have a lot of experience with uh, spirit animals. I guess you could say I'm something of a Numa zoologist. You get it? Because Numa is spirit in Latin. So, like, zoo. Yeah. Any hoozles. Or, I guess you could say I'm a fauna shaman. <sighs> okay. Um, a bestial. Let's actually help her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so, what are some tips for how November Rain could find their spirit animal, Mendes? You could do Spirit Animal 101, which is just take a quiz online. 100%. Have you checked out uh, Angel Fire, Geo Cities, even BuzzFeed nowadays, I would imagine. I've yep. never been on it. It's great. Do they have quizzes on BuzzFeed? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Take a uh, Spirit Animal quiz, which uh, in doing the in-depth research that we at Legends Rise and do in our our lovely staff uh, does to help us discover the answers to these questions. Um, Mendez herself took a <laughs> spirit animal quiz. How'd that go? I took three and they were yeah. all... See, extensive research. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, how'd that work out for you? Well, I predicted every single time what they were going to give me and I felt that they were wrong. No, oh, wait. So you predicted it but you well, predicted yeah, that, because it's predictable. But you predicted it was going to be the wrong answer. Yeah. Okay. I was going to ask if you predicted it because not because they were predictable, but because you're so in tune with your inner like spirit beast. Yeah, your inner beast that you just immediately your inner anima that you immediately knew which animal was going to be. You know. Like, I know what animal I am. What is that? An owl. An owl. That's what one quiz gave you. Yeah, but I knew it was going to give it to me. Yeah, because you know what you are. No, because it asked me, out of these choices, which one do you like the most? And out of the dumb animals that it gave me, I chose bird. And it's like, oh, then you're an owl. Yeah, I do love the spirit animal quiz where it's just straight up. What animal do you think you are? Let's make, <laughs> let's make this easy on both Well, parts. you're not mistaken. Here's the Pegasus. <laughs> All we want to do is provide you with confirmation bias. That's what we're here for. Um, well, they can only have so many answers. Like four. I presume that I was a falcon, but Miss uh, Inner Animal over here just immediately decided that I was going to be a spider, which I take. I've had also, you know, that is a result from my quiz. The creator, uh, a Nazi. The storyteller. Spiders story protect humans. Yeah, and they weave stories. I like it. I love spiders. They're among my favorite animals. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, They're moving the on. They're the ones that made the original dream catchers. 
original dream catchers that's true and speaking of dream catchers while mendez was doing her extensive research and taking online quizzes i myself uh went to go visit some friends and took a shamanic journey um so that would be my su suggestion to you is you could take a shamanic journey uh deep inside a forest perhaps um if you're lucky you can get some some lucy in the sky with diamonds um yeah, yeah. i was about to go that's not the right thing. No, it would be more like uh, <clears throat> on the bottom of the tongue. Should you not put anything? Um, Don't put it in water. Going into the forest <laughs> with Lucy uh, and praising Gichi Manito, the great spirit from the Algonquian tribe. And that's what I was doing, you know? Um, and that helped me find my inner spirit animal. And by that, I mean, while under a different state of mind, I ran into a bear and- So you know, you're a Vulcan. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> Is that you, Smokey? Only you can prevent forest fires. Only you have the spirit animal, Falcon. That's oh, what yeah? he said, yeah, that's cool. Yogi, get away from my picnic basket, you Falcon. <laughs> e -boo -boo. Oh. You could uh, go to the zoo and have a staring contest with the animals and see which one of them you resonate with the most. Just look longingly into their eyes and eventually you'll feel something. I've done that with a white bangled tiger before and he got really upset. Oh yeah? Yeah. Why? <laughs> You're having a staring contest with him. His masculinity mm. was taken away from him. I got you. It's that toxic He's tiger like, masculinity. B! <laughs> That's what was wrong with Charlie Sheen. Tiger blood. He had that toxic tiger masculinity just coursing through him. Oh, it's I weird. thought it was cocaine. <laughs> Same difference, <laughs> honestly. Tiger, where do you think cocaine so comes from? Tiger bones? China. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, yeah, tiger bones. <laughs> tiger blood and tiger bones. Okay. Um, addendum, though, by the way, if you are having a staring contest with the animals at the zoo and you start to feel something, Check and make sure it's not the taser of the local zoo security because they're just completely freaked out by you and they're trying to escort you out and you just weren't paying attention because you were just so in that zone. Yeah. They had no choice but to tase you. Uh -huh. Sometimes you have to kill your inner Harambe. Too soon, <laughs> Too soon. It's trying to kill your inner child, so you gotta fight it back. The child. Survival of the fittest. And I guess the child did survive, right? Yeah. But I mean, was it, it wasn't because he was fit, it's because someone nearby him had a gun. Like, that's not survival of the fittest. Also, I just realized Which I'm is why green. I don't think that the child should, should have survived. Uh, I he wore a green hat. Yeah, you did. I was really stupid. I huh. mean, it's not that green. Yeah, I know, but it was supposed to be like all. When I did the, the dropper. It's a part of the nature like... vibe because I just came out of the forest recently. I'm also wearing a green. There's paint on it. Yeah, I'm wearing a lot of green, though. It was a very dumb idea. That's mm. teal. Teal, you're right. Or, I mean, I don't know. It's like, it's very dark to be teal. It's teal. You might be right. We'll talk about this off <laughs> Um, Well, I have to do some deep research into colors. Because I think it might be like, not chartreuse. Chartreuse would be a much lighter. You could subscribe to zoo books. You could subscribe to zoo books. <laughs> and all those zoological facts included in zoo books, you could utilize to discover your spirit animal. Um, You could... Study Shaolin karate because they always have different karate styles than different like the animals. Crane? Yeah, the crane style, the monkey the style. Um, the dude from Kim Possible did that. He, <laughs> he knew his spirit animal, the, the monkey. monkey. Yeah, he was like on it. Um, for that matter, Gil knew his spirit animal. He was a, a very prominent ichthyologist. That kid's story was sad. Gil's story? Just a bunch of people yeah. forgot him at camp and like. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the story of Jason. And radioactive right? water. Yeah, right? Like, oh, he drowned. And all literally nobody came back to search for him. Like, not even his parents came. I don't think anybody camp. even noticed he drowned besides Ron. They were just like, oh, he's in it. Like, see you later. <laughs> I'm turning my cup so Aquaman could face out as we talk about Gil's tragic story. I'm no marine biologist, but I think he drowned. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> Um, what else can you do to find your inner spirit animal? You can ask a bunch of middle schoolers what you look like. Oh, yeah, because middle schoolers are notorious for their insults. I used to get monkey nipples and giraffe neck. 
Me so, too. High five. What, you two doing monkey nipples? No. Oh, we're going to wait for the nipples, but, you know. Was it Giraffnik? Yeah. Yeah, Giraffnik was a pretty popular one for kids, I guess. Um, they could tell you that you look like a hippo. And, I mean, the thing about asking middle schoolers, though, is your spirit may be prepared for you to find your spirit animal, but it may not be prepared to guard against like the barrage of like the cruelty yeah the cruelty and ego damaging nature that is middle schoolers they, it's very disheartening it is very disheartening they are uh they are the equivalent to the hungry demon zone in buddhism i thought that you were going to say hunger games <laughs> oh. to the hunger games well, to I mean, your soul <laughs> spe really speaking of hunger games look at the middle schoolers in there joffrey oh the worst <sighs> Imagine asking Joffrey to tell you what you look like. That's not gonna <laughs> bend over. <laughs> you take the whip. Dinner. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like something my dad would hunt. Aw. Oh, poor uh Barat King Baratheon. Uh, whatever. Okay. Yeah, um, you could check your zodiac. Um, you and then once you do that. Unless you're like an archer like yeah like if you have one of the stupid <laughs> ones like if you, if you get you're a Sagittarius it's like nah bro you gotta you gotta turn to your eastern zodiac and look and see what year you were born in because you might uh I think I was born in the year of the sheep which I've never liked so I don't claim it so, I'm a rooster really yeah that's not fair I know uh, yeah always cock on the right uh, that's not fair I gotta look at mine I don't want to do it on camera but I'm pretty sure I'm a sheep someone look up the year uh rail, rail yeah Someone look up the year 1991. <laughs> so you're in the Illuminati? Oh, huh. I gotta check and make sure I'm doing the Naruto are, hand yeah, seals. Yeah, I was about to say, are you a fox now? No, these are the, the hand seals are the 12 zodiac animals. Like dragon, tiger, snake. But Naruto was I, I know what Naruto, he was a Kyubi, technically, but. A fox. A nine tails up. demon fox. <laughs> oh! Check and see if you're a Jinchuriki, because you might be like carrying a baiju oh. inside of you right now. Okay, uh, I want to oh. end on this last one. That so, as I said, we do research and we like a lot of most of this is improv and just because we're the smart and we're scientists. <laughs> uh, amateur marine biologists. <laughs> we come up with educated guests. But we do have speaking points and notes to guide us along the path of how to help you because you don't have... even want to know what this show would turn into without guide uh, well it's our, our spirit animal is this no bad um and it's, <laughs> it's helping us help you to have a legendary day and, and so i just want mendez to uh to elaborate on this last no point that i'm i'm interested um, in and what is that this is because yeah yeah so we can end on whatever that is so you can explain let that. me just say that when I said this, my just looked at me like I was crazy. But I said, just hold out your arms and whatever it comes to you, that's your spirit animal. Because you see in movies and like Disney princess stuff, they'll like sing or blah, blah, blah. And oh, just, oh, like, that, oh, the wait. So, all over them. so you're saying hold out your arms and like holstered, holstered on top, of, perched on top of your arm will somehow be your spirit animal. Well, eventually, if you sing right. the right notes. Well, that's really, like, I hope <laughs> that- Snow White ever taught me anything. Well, I just hope that their spirit animal is, like, something of a worthwhile size. It is not like a Pokemon situation. Like, you'll have a Waylord and a Pokeball, and they're, like, super gigantic. So it's like, if your spirit animal is a horse, and you start singing a note, and a horse just jumps up and tries to, yeah, it just crushes your arm, or a cow, or a bull, or any animal, really, like a pig, weighs like 300 pounds as a baby. It's wild. A great white whale, just uh, like, whoa. <laughs> uh, so these have been tips for how to find a spirit animal. Hopefully, November rain, we have helped you go further along your spiritual journey. Um, now please send somebody to guide us <laughs> and as you're doing so, uh, subscribe, subscribe, like, yeah. comment, <laughs> uh, comment below and tell us what you think your spirit animal are, is, is, or what you think our spirit animals are. That's what I was trying to say. Uh, no, sorry. <laughs> Leave a like. <laughs> no, I'm a falcon. <laughs> no, you may do the owl sound. You do the owl sound.
拜。<笑>